Yeah, I saw uh, I saw some things that I thought uh, we figured out during the OTAs. I thought uh, some of the things that they were doing that, that we are, had already changed. So it was kind of like a stamp of that we're on the right direction, you know, doing things right. Uh, we did kick return again today. I thought it was a lot of good things. We saw some guys hitting up in there. Uh, one of the things that we've learned is that everything happens faster. You know, the blocks, the holes are there and they're gone real quick. So you, you have to see it and then get up field right away. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm excited to see this thing, you know, live against the team. So it's coming. You know, Saturday we get to do it against the Jacksonville. How long has this his progress been in so far? For me, he's been great. I mean, he's, he's doing a good job as a returner. Um, you know, he's got to continue to get better as a, as a running back. He's got to learn his stuff. And pass blocking, I think, is a, it's, it's a major hurdle that he needs to get, you know, figure out because that's a big part of what we do in our offense. So uh, that's, that's where he's at. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I, I moved them over to PP. You know, which is exactly that. It's pass blocking. You know, on the punt team. So you know, we're trying to get him all the work we can to try to. He's on the accelerated program. Um, we're going to try to do everything we can to bring him up to speed. Coach, we have heard about everything about him. I don't know that anybody's pointed out he's tackled. I mean, in rugby, you've got to play both plays. Can he, if he was your, if he ended up on the coverage unit, could he do it? Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any question he could do it. He's, it's not about his toughness or anything like that, but he's never done it against this level of caliber of football player. You know, that's the thing that's, that, I mean, the speed and, you know, and these guys have been doing this since they've been fifth grade. He's been playing rugby since fifth grade, so it's, there, there's a learning curve there. So I'm looking forward to seeing it live. Were you enjoying the kickoffs? What was your reaction as you were just watching the time? I, I'm excited about it. I, I couldn't wait to see it. I mean, I was all excited, like everybody else was. Uh, I was the same way. And I thought there might have been a couple bigger returns, but they, they didn't really try. I don't think they really they kept it kind of vanilla, especially in this first game. We got a lot more games coming up here Thursday and Friday, I guess. Yeah, have thoughts change at all on hang time? I know earlier on you were saying it. Yeah, hang time doesn't matter at all because you can't leave. Like, nobody can play anything until the ball hits the ground or is caught. So hang time, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a matter of... Is it tough to hit the low trajectory ones? It's hard to hit it into the target zone with the low trajectory, but that's what you're trying to do to try to skip it into, you know, from the target zone to get it out of the back of the end zone to get it, the ball to 20. That's your ideal. Or just try to hit it on the ground where they have to bobble around to get it because now your kickoff team is coming down and just, you're taking hang time away because it's live at that point. Yeah, you know, like, it time doesn't matter. Does it matter in the sense that you don't want too much hang time? Uh, you can have hang time, but it just, it's not an advantage to have hang time. You know, you can, you can, you'll see where the ball is going to be caught. Everybody will, but yeah, advantage? still have to wait till the ball will be caught before you go. But is it more of an advantage for receiving team? Uh, that the fa only fact that they would be able to hit it coming forward for sure. You would be able to catch the ball coming forward. That's it. Dave, so there was a small about, advantage. You talked a minute ago about liking what you saw from some of your kick return guys today. Is this the kind of environment you can really get a gauge on what you got from those guys? I think so. I, the way we practice, we practice fast. I mean, we, we keep guys off the ground, but we practice fast. And, and, and we teach, you know, using your hands and getting off blocks on the cover teams. So, you know, the holes are there for a fraction of a second. And if we see a guy hitting it, we, we know that that's what we're going to get when we get the pads on. So I saw that today. You know, I saw McCole do it, and I saw Nico do it, and, and even uh, Lewis did a nice job with it, too. Yeah, a drastic change like this one, you said mostly seeing vanilla in preseason, but how eager are you to try some of the wrinkles from the creative stuff? We'll, we'll try some different. I'm going to try uh, ha having ball, uh, Bucker move the ball a little bit, try to make a move, and we're going to try that. You know, we're going to – we only got three games, and we're going to try to do as much as we can to, to bring us to a level to where we can uh, compete, you know, with with the Ravens in game one. Matt didn't get a chance to hold much in college. How quickly is he coming along? Oh, he's he's doing great. It's, we haven't missed a beat with the holds. He's 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 a, he's a good. He's got great hands. He's done a good job. Him and Bucker, you know, they're sharing a brain already, which is good. How much time has Bucker had to work on kickoffs? A lot, a lot, because when we go in the afternoon, we're inside, we're kicking off in there. We're working kickoffs inside. So he, he, he wants to kick off all the time. So we've done a lot of experimenting with that. And, and he's got a variety of kicks, a variety. Dave, do you have um, a bit more opening at the gunner position right now that you want to see? Yeah, I mean, we're hoping 13 could do it. You know, coming back off his knee, he, he was really at, playing at a high level. You know, Josh is, is the other guy right now. I mean. Jalen, you know, is a guy. I mean, whoever's that, whoever's that third corner, fourth corner, those guys are the guys that we're going to depend on. And then, obviously, fifth, sixth receiver. 
those type the guys that have that top speed, those are the guys you want playing gunner. Before you talk about uh, Justin, possibly doing some kickoff. Yeah. Um, with him being injured, is will he be? Well, he's just, a, it's a setback right now. He can't, obviously, it's his right leg and he can't kick off. But um, we think he'll be able to kick off again here soon. We got to get him back on the field. You know, he's, he's coming along, his rehab's going well. Generally speaking, how, how rare is the room on Horizon? Where's he at progression-wise? Uh, coming in, I, I, I consider him a rookie because he really he only kicked one game in preseason, and then he was done. So as a rookie, he's he's really above the line, in my opinion. I think he's 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 way ahead right now. He's 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 really hitting some good punts and team periods. That's what you want to see. Uh, now, I mean, that's one thing, but now you got to see him do it in a game. That's a whole nother level. You know, we, we, we got to see that. Just personally, how have you seen uh, Raza come in off the field and enjoy the team? No, he's, he's, he's just like one of the guys. He's, he's fine. He's a great, great person, great guy to be around. And like I said, he's fitting in great with Bucker and, and Winchester. And, uh, it's awesome. How about his finesse game? I mean, obviously Excuse me? His finesse, Matt's finesse game. Yeah, his pooches. Yeah, he's got, he can move the ball. He's got some different tricks that he can do, look in one way, kick the other, which is good. Uh, we did pooches the other day. He laid them all in there really well. We're going to do that again tomorrow. Um, I feel good with this guy, you know. Coach, you get Watson back, 84 back, kind of turns and kicks. How was it do for you to have him back in the mix? You're talking about Justin? Yes. Watson? Yeah. Uh, he does a lot for us. I mean, he can, he's a blocker. I mean, he, he could be a four-phase guy, wide receiver, and he does a lot on offense. So we're anticipating him, obviously, you know, being on the 53. I mean, everybody thinks that I, I picked the 53, but I don't. <laughs> But I, I think he's in a position where he's going to be on the team and he'll be helping us on special teams for sure. Thanks, everybody. All right, thanks. thanks.